Kenny, just tell me what was going through your head when Nottingham Forest equalised late on in the game on Friday evening. Yeah, we switched off from the from the set piece, and um, from being in control of the game, particularly at the start of the second half we were really the better side and stepping on but if you don't get that second goal if you can't create that chance that can put them away they had a few good blocks we had a lot of balls and um, uh, uh, crosses into their box they defended it well and it always gave them the chance then to, to get back into the game late on which uh, the substitute Blackstock did. Are you a man that tends to shout when disappointed or are you more calm with the players after the game? Could be either uh, whatever I feel is the right thing and what's necessary for the players. I felt that uh, they put a good effort in and a good application, good body language and uh, busted a gut every single one of them and the crowd responded to that. So after the game it's, it's um, uh, pointing out where we think we can get better and what we need to do to get where we want to be but also as well encouraging and praising the effort and the application and the good things that they did. And you mentioned the crowd there, they were excellent on Friday night. Uh, there were some signs of frustration that Benny Kaferbe wasn't brought on earlier. Can you just explain why that was? Yeah, I'd um, stuck with the same team that won at Rotherham. I thought it was uh, uh, the right thing at Rotherham and it, it, it proved right because it was our first win for a number of games and uh, you know, cycle up front needed to change. And um, while we were in control of the game, obviously I stuck with the same eleven. And it was another excellent performance from Jordan Graham. Um, his confidence must be very high at the moment. Yeah, there's been a number of young players over the last couple of years have come through and um, you know, shown good form. And um, Jordan's one of them anyway. In, in three or four games, he's, he's built up nicely and we're pleased with what he's done. As I have been with Ethan Ebanks Landell as well, coming back from injury, slotting in next to, to Danny and. Um, Shows a lot of uh, uh, ability, a lot of power, a lot of pace and um, I think as well at the right time will come uh, very good. And a word on Danny Bart, he was in Wolverhampton City Centre on Saturday selling the big issue. How much do those sort of social commitments help with him on the pitch? Well, that's what Danny is and that's, you know, he's his own person and um, he's a local lad. And so he's, that makes him, you know, even more part of the community. And um, you know, he has his own ideas and, and, and his own principles. And you know, he's, he's uh, a lot of people admire him for that. And I'm one of them. Moving on to Leeds now, a finance expert has said that Leeds and Wolves represent two of the biggest uh, investment opportunities in English football. How much does it excite you the potential of this club, Kenny? Yeah, Wolves is a fantastic club, and um, it's quite been a great club to work for. Uh, um, you know, our league position uh, this this year is something we want to improve on. We think it has the potential to do that, definitely, and we feel we're close, albeit not there. Um, but um, it is a fantastic club to work for, and um, as you say, has terrific potential. They've taken four points from their last two games, a uh, slight upward trajectory for them. And it'll be another tough game for Wolves, won't it? It will, and whenever you're looking around the Championship, they're good sides and good, good squads of players, so, and Leeds are no different. And um, as you say, um, you know, competing to get f further up the league, and there's, a, there's a, a lot of tight games in the Championship. You're looking lately, there's been many draws, uh, games decided by set pieces. And um, yeah, it's been the nature of the last few weeks of the championship. Le Leeds, as you say, um, some good performances, good squad of players, good manager, and we'll give them every respect when they come to Molyneux.